Hey guys, Pogasic29 here. Welcome to episode number 28. Uh, in this episode, I am going to show you guys uh, Tag API, which is a plugin. It's an API that, uh, you know, it's kind of like Vault, and it lets you change the little name tag that appears above every player. So, you're going to want to head over to Bucket Dev and uh, it's this URL, dev.bucket.org slash server-mod slash tag, and I'll have it in the description. But um, you just want to go ahead and download it. The latest version at this time is 2.1, and it does have support for 1.5. And then, um, you know, I downloaded it to my coding tutorial folder, and I put a copy in the plugins folder of my server. So we can just go ahead and add external jars, and we can add tag API. And all we're going to do for this video is make a command. You type slash tag me, and it'll, it'll give you like a special tag. It's extremely um, simple, but, the, but uh, an example use of tag API is um, if you were to make a game plugin that had teams, then you could you know, change the player's tag, you know, like a red color or a blue color. Um, a lot of servers use tag API to, like, you know, each rank gets its own tag color, so all the players may be yellow, and, like, the owners are red, and the administrators are blue, um, whatever. So, um, tag API has two parts. It has a method and a listener. So, in this tag API in this tag me command all you're gonna do is say tag API dot refresh player oh and then we're gonna have to um do the uh, if exclamation point sender instance of player um, and then I'm just gonna say return true normally you would say an import player normally you would like send a message um, but I'm not gonna bother doing that right now so tag API dot refresh player p, and then we'll just go ahead and say p dot send message check color dot green, and we'll say you were tagged. Okay. Now the second and most important part is when we call this method to refresh the player. Um, it just all it does is refresh the player's tag. So then what we want to do is we want to actually change it. So you're going to type at event handler public void on player tag or whatever you want to call it. And it's a player receive name tag events. Let's see if I did that right. Wow, I did it right. All right. Then we're going to say player p equals e dot get named player, and then from here um, you can do different checks. Uh, but basically, what you in the end you're going to do e dot set tag, and then a string, and it will use chat colors. So if you um, like say you wanted to check which team the player was on, you would do it there. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna say chat color dot gold plus p dot get name dot gets name. So then all that's happening is when this event is called, whenever I refresh a player, the event will be called. So then one when the event is called, then I'm setting the tag of the called player to their name in, you know, the orange gold color. So that's it there. And I, uh, you know, just set up the plugin.yml with a uh, tag me command and nothing interesting there. So let's go ahead and test it. And now I don't believe that I can see my own tag. So I'm not sure if I can prove to you guys that it works. I can prove to you that the plugin will load correctly. Alright, so that's all starting up. Oh yeah, one other thing that you should probably do in your plugin.yml is write depends and then um, tag API. 
and all that now it's just depend and what that does is if there isn't a plugin called tag API on the server then you then this plugin won't start up so that can be like you can like you force you know server users to have want another plugin in order to use yours so let's go ahead and join my server and okay so let's go ahead and run the tag me command so it does say that I was tagged now let me stop the video for a second and see if I can get it to show my own tag well I can't really prove to you guys that I that it works because I don't have anyone else that can join the server right now and it won't show me my own tag but take my word for it it works and you can test it yourself so there we go so that is all for this video as always subscribe if you want to see more uh, comment with what you want to learn I'm actually I think I've run out of new things to teach you so the all these next videos are going to be applying the skills that we've learned in some pretty cool ways that you probably that you might not have thought of and um, you know if anything new comes up that I could teach you guys then I will be sure to uh, do that uh, alright I'll see you guys later bye